What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv Video Audio Stuff and in this video I'm tackling the issue of audio waveforms taking forever to load whilst you're editing in Final Cut. This is an issue that's been irritating people for a long time. You know what I'm talking about, you're editing, you make a cut and then for no reason your audio waveforms disappear and take an eon to reappear whilst your blood boils. This seems to happen regardless of which Mac system you're using and which codec your video was shot in. After all, this is an audio issue, not a video issue. And it's important to say that this video is not a fix, but it should improve things a great deal. Quickly before we dive in, I now have a non-profit Patreon for this channel. Any funds from Patreon go back into the channel to buy video gear, I review it and then I give away the gear to backers. Like right now at the time of filming, I actually have two giveaways running for a total of $500 worth of video gear. It's really inexpensive to be a backer, just the cost of a cup of coffee. So if this video helps you and you're into gear giveaways, do check it out, it's in the description below. Anyway, plug over. Some of these steps may seem like minor things, but the cumulative effect really result in a much snappier final cut. Time is money, right? I'm gonna do my best to help. Tip one, I'm gonna go into preferences and under the general tab, I'm going to uncheck the box saying show reference waveforms. Now, what this function is doing is it displays this kind of ghost waveform image, which in theory makes it easier to see audio waveforms when the volume is lower. By unchecking this, it's less for Final Cut to think about and it seems to speed up drawing the regular waveforms. Tip two, I want to change the way that Final Cut displays the timeline. If you're chopping up clips using the audio as a guide, I found it speed things up loads by changing it to displaying just waveforms on the timeline. Having to constantly find thumbnail images for your footage is a heavy lifting task that Final Cut is having to do, and by removing this task, things instantly feel more snappy. Tip three, and it's good to hide all unnecessary stuff in your window. These are all sapping processing power that Final Cut could be using to draw your audio waveforms albeit a very small amount, but it all helps. So I'm gonna close my libraries and inspector by clicking up here, plugins by checking here, and the audio meter you can hide by clicking on the small audio meter here. Tip four, and I'm switching my viewing mode to better performance. Performance mode makes a big difference to the playback of your clips. Your footage may look a little low resolution, so it's not quite as inspiring to edit, but it snaps back to high quality as soon as you hit stop, so you don't have to keep changing back and forth to see it in full quality. Tip five, I'm going to toggle off video skimming. This is where you can move your mouse along the timeline and Final Cut shows a live version of your clip. Now this is useful for sure, but it does sap a little processing power and if it can contribute to the audio waveforms being displayed faster, then I can live without it. Tip six, and I'm going to turn off any color grading or effects plugins as this kind of thing are particularly processing power thirsty. I tend to use adjustment layers for my plugins and I'd advise that you do the same. It's a free plugin that's just a Google search away and I can simply disable these adjustment layers by selecting them and hitting V. It's probably best to edit this way anyway as it'll be faster. So there you go, not a solution, but six really useful tips nonetheless. And this issue is never gonna be truly fixed until Apple fix it. And I sincerely hope that one day they do and this video, it becomes obsolete. In the meantime, if you have this issue, I really encourage you to report it to Apple because the more people that do this, the more likely it is to get fixed and I'll leave a link to that down below. And whilst I'm at it, a couple more suggestions for future versions of Final Cut. I'd love to see an even lower resolution, even faster performance mode. I'm talking properly pixelated 640 by 480 horribleness. I just think this could be a really handy alternative to transcoding or making proxies. What do you think? Similarly, I'd also love to see a low resolution audio waveform mode so that it would just draw more simple, maybe slightly more blocky looking audio waveforms, but would draw them lightning fast. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. What did I miss? Is there anything else that we can be doing to resolve this issue? Any other pearls of wisdom, please don't hesitate. Pop them in the comment section below. After all, this channel has always been about learning and sharing. I've now made hundreds of videos about audio and video on this channel, of which YouTube has recommended this one for you to watch next, and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.